Lyman is a long-forgotten character in the Garfield franchise. He was once a part of the main cast, along with John, Garfield, and their dog, Odie. Lyman was cheerful, a companion to John and Garfield. He loved running and wore mismatched clothes, as he never really cared about his appearance. Lyman was meant to be a character for John to interact with. Without Lyman, John would be a lonely man talking to a cat. He really tied the dynamic of the group together. Two humans to comment on the adventures of the two animals, Garfield and Odie. While he only appeared periodically in the late 70s to early 80s, he was a staple of the Garfield family. In this video, I'm going to go over everything about Lyman, including the history of the character, cameos, and my opinion on him. Lyman first appeared in the prototype comic to Garfield, titled John, after the main character. In Lyman's first ever appearance, he begs John to stay with him. Garfield delivers the punchline in this strip, saying, My sandbox is off limits. This joke was retold in Lyman's first canon appearance in the Garfield strip in 1978. In the second ever strip to feature Lyman, published a day after the first, it's revealed that Lyman has brought a dog with him, named Odie. Odie is now one of the three main characters in the strip today, along with John and Garfield. Lyman grew up with four cats, all named Cat, confirmed by this strip from 1980. In this strip, from September of 1978, Lyman shows his interest in running or jogging, which is a recurring theme in his character. The theme is continued in the strips shown here. Starting in the 80s, Lyman started fading into the background. In 1981, Lyman only appeared in three strips all year. A new Garfield strip comes out every day, meaning that Lyman was only in 0.82% of strips that year. This graph shows how many times Lyman has appeared in Garfield strips, starting at his first appearance, which was on August 7, 1978, and ending on April 28, 2021, which is today. I would like to talk specifically about three points on this graph. The first is April 24, 1983. This is the last time Lyman had a regular appearance in a comic. He had one line in the last panel. He was basically used as the punchline. Lyman never spoke in the Garfield comic strip ever again. He left without warning. It's been almost 40 years, Jim. Bring Lyman back. This point right here is June 19th, 1988. This Sunday strip was celebrating the 10th anniversary of Garfield. Lyman is featured twice here. Once in the title page, between John's father and Liz, John's love interest. His second appearance is in one of the photos John and Garfield are looking through together. These photos are panels from previous comic strips. Here, Lyman is used for nostalgia. Even this early into the comic strip's life, Lyman is a relic of the past. This last ever reference to Lyman was on April 2nd, 2013. His face is on the newspaper John is reading. That's it. He's never mentioned. He isn't even there. I think Lyman is in the newspaper because he died. John is reading the obituaries in this strip. I recognize this as the canon death of Lyman. He has not appeared in a piece of media since then. Speaking of other media, we're going to transition over to the portrayal of Lyman outside of the comic strip. Number 15, Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt. Not gonna put that in. Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt was a Flash game released in 2002 for Halloween. Lyman is referenced and shown a total of four separate times in this game. The first reference is said by John, who is quivering outside the House of Horrors before the game even starts. When you click on him, John says, Lyman loves to eat muffins. In the bathroom of the house, when you click on the shower curtain, it's pulled back, revealing Lyman taking a shower. He screams very loudly, increasing your scare meter. The third instance of Lyman is in a room with a bunch of shapes covered in sheets. When you pull back one of the sheets, Lyman's severed head is underneath. The fourth reference is Lyman himself. 
He's tied up in chains in the dark basement of the mansion. Giving him a muffin will prompt him to give you a hint as to where the next objective is. In the sequel game, Garfield's Scary Scavenger Hunt 2, Lyman's severed head is in the oven. Lyman is the focus of four episodes of Season 3 of The Garfield Show. Lyman appears in Part 1 of the episode in a flashback sequence. This is the first time Lyman was given a voice, and is a reimagining of the first ever appearance of Lyman in the comic strip. In fact, many strips from the early comic are recreated in this episode. Lyman! John, great hey. to see you. You haven't changed a bit, I'm sorry to say. John, I need a place to stay. I'm cold, I'm hungry, I'm weak. Take me in. Sure, Lyman. You know my home is your home. But my sandbox is off limits. In the flashback, Lyman drops off Odie and then leaves to move to Australia. In the second part, Lyman is part of an imagination sequence where he meets Garfield and Odie in a forest. In the third and fourth parts, the characters go to Australia to finally meet Lyman in real life. When the characters return back to their home, however, Lyman stays behind with Odie. Lyman eventually gives Odie back to Garfield and John. This is a conclusion to the four-part story arc. Lyman appears in a flashback scene in a season four episode of the show, however it only uses footage from his previous appearance in the show. I have covered every piece of media to reference Lyman ever in this video. Except for one, which I cannot find, and I accept is lost to time. On the Garfield fan wiki, it says, quote, On the Garfield website, he was shown working behind the counter in a former edition of the Book Nook section. So I went to the Garfield website. No Book Nook section. In fact, the site is basically dead. So I googled, Garfield.com Book Nook Lyman. No record of the image. Anywhere. I went on the Wayback Machine, which lets me view old versions of the website, and I found the Book Nook section, but no image of Lyman. I checked every capture the Internet Archive had of the Book Nook section of the Garfield.com website, and I just couldn't find this image of Lyman. If you have the picture, or any leads as to where I could find this picture of Lyman behi working behind the counter in the Book Nook section of the Garfield website, please contact me or leave a comment on this video. I need to know where the image is. The character Lyman slowly faded out of the comic strip over time, with no warnings or goodbyes. Well, why is this? Well, in Jim Davis's book titled 20 Years and Still Kicking, he reveals that Lyman's purpose as a character was to give John someone he could talk to. This role was taken over by Garfield over time, with John having real conversations with the cat. There really was no need for Lyman because Garfield fulfilled his purpose better than he could. Jim Davis then proceeds to give a list of funny reasons why Lyman disappeared. Number one being, don't look in John's basement. Five years later, Lyman could be found in the basement in Garfield's scary scavenger hunt. Lyman will always be one of my favorite Garfield characters. To me, he signifies the vibe of the early Garfield strips and the 70s in general. In my next video, I'm going to talk about the spider and mice characters, and how they are like the modern day Lyman. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed my first serious, thought out video. Bye guys, see you next time. So I just thought I would go over a few addendums real quick. This is after me fully editing the video. So, Lyman has a couple more appearances that I didn't go over. So, he appears in a comic from June 19th, 1981. He, he's with John saying happy birthday, Garfield. It's like, it's Garfield's like birthday strip. So he's like, he appears in that. And also every Sunday, every Sunday, um, the Garfield strip for that week, or the Garfield strip for that day on Sunday is like full color and is like three times as long. And so Lyman appears 
in a couple of those Sunday strips, but he's just like right there. He's just, he's just there and he doesn't even say any, he doesn't say anything. Um, I'd also like to mention that there was a Tumblr conspiracy theory that Lyman was murdered by John um, to keep Odie. It was like a Tumblr conspiracy and um, I'll link the, the article talking about the Tumblr post in the description. However, um, Lyman being locked in the basement is like one of the key points. So I just thought you'd let I'd let everyone know those things I left out and have a nice day guys.